Hi everybody. Um, I don't know how this video is going to do because it sounds like it's a little crackly, but it doesn't sound as bad as it was the uh, last time I did a video. Okay, well I take that back. It does sound bad. But anyways, I'm going to go for it. This is going to be the part two of um, closing the art fire shop. I've had a lot of people write and, uh, and, um, <laughs> I just don't know what to do. I've got to shut the shop down for sure, but I'm still going to be offering soaps and stuff at a, at a small scale, um, through YouTube. Like, let's say you, you see something on YouTube that I cut, you know, like, like I did a bunch of lavender soap. You can say, hey, I'd like to get a couple bars of that. And then, um, you just get my address and send a money order. Now I have taken money before for for paint as payment through I think it's called Wired Payment, Western Union Wired Payment. Um, I can do that too. Um, it's something I'm kind of just get, learning how how it works. But I think they charge a fee to do that to the sender. So. Um, I'm not exactly sure what those, the fees are, but I think it is kind of high. Um, so better is the money order. That way you don't have to deal with any, any uh, extra fees. Because that's what we're trying to avoid. Um, and I'll, So through YouTube, through Facebook, I'll try to get my blog going again. I've always had trouble with my blog. People not being able to write me or me not being able to respond back to them. Anyways, we'll try to... Regardless of anything, I'm closing the art fire shop. I'll always have items available if you would still like them. It's just the only method of payment will be money order. Okay, so hopefully that's clear because I've had a lot of people are just freaking out. <laughs> and uh, I feel really bad. I feel horrible. And it is kind of sad, you know, closing the shop and stuff. But it's not like I'm totally stop stopping what I'm doing because I love making soap and I love making products and stuff and videos for you guys but I'm so busy I haven't been able to make any videos um which I really want to get back to I enjoy that I want to go back to you know when I first started on YouTube doing videos all the time um I just wish the download time was faster with my camera because I know that the volume is louder with my camera and with my laptop you guys can't hear me as well so uh, we'll get it all worked out anyways um I was up really late last night. That's why I got big old bags under my eyes. I was up till about, I think, 3. Just, uh, I've got some local people coming, so I wanted to have some stuff ready for them. Um, and I wanted to show you guys a couple little things. And I said there were good news and bad news. I told you the bad news. <laughs> the good news is, um, a little, little bit of good news, is, you remember when I told you guys, um, <laughs> when I told you guys, you know, with the goats, and they were over at the breeders last year for like three months or something. It was ridiculous. They should have only been there for a month, but they were there for three months because we want to make sure they get pregnant. Well, Pearl didn't get pregnant. Only just uh, Miss Bubbles did, and she had the little boy. And uh, so I told I told I told Pearl. I said Pearl when we brought the mail over this last time, he was here for three months. I said, Pearl, if you don't get pregnant this time, I'm going to get the ugliest goat. Because <laughs> it's usually the uglier ones, for some reason, are more aggressive um, and usually make good breeders. So I told her, I'm going to get you the ugliest goat if you don't get pregnant. Well, I noticed, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, I seen her little, her little milk sack. It's so cute. She, so the good news is, she is pregnant. She's going to be having at least one baby then, though. I'm sure it'll probably just be one because it's her first time. Um, her mother, or her sister, I was told, is a very good milker, a high-production milker, and uh, she always has two babies. So, I don't know. We'll see. She she looks like she's probably just going to have one, and she, they're probably both pregnant and going to have babies in maybe a couple weeks or so. Um, the earliest that they could have babies would be the end of this month. So we still have like a week. But I, I think they're going to go a little longer than that. But her, her little milk sack is so cute. It's just so funny to see because she's been sitting out there for so long, it seems. Not pregnant. <laughs> so to see a milk sack on her is so funny. She's, 
so cute. Um, she just has this little high, little fat milk sack. It's just, she doesn't know what she's in for, I don't think, but she deserves every bit of it <laughs> for being ornery. <laughs> she's ornery. Um, but she's a good girl. I love her. I love her to death. My husband, he's like, he didn't, Bubbles, Miss Bubbles is real quiet. She's a very quiet goat. She's kind of shy. Once you get her on the milk stand and stuff, you know, you just, you do the milking and she don't really want to be petted or anything. You just, she does the job, give her a feed, put her away. Uh, but, uh, Pearl, she's, um, she's a lot more friendly. She's very vocal. And when she sees us, when we're pulling up, you know, going to the grocery store, post office, whatever, whenever she sees us, she screams her head off. <coughs> and my husband doesn't like that. He doesn't like that every time she sees us, she, she screams because he said it's kind of embarrassing, you know, the neighbors seeing the goat screaming her head off because she sees us. Because she wants to be petted and stuff. And, of course, she wants a 50, 100, 152 cookies, too. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I like her. I don't care if goats uh, scream, you know, they're just, that's her way of saying hello, and she just happens to be, be a more vocal girl, so I think she's, I think it's hilarious when she, when she baths out there like that, when she sees us, it's so funny, because she'll be like, you know, minding her own business, and eating grass and stuff, and she'll see us, and then she'll like, she'll tilt her head, like that, and she's looking around the corner, and then she just screams, her, and she's just, she's crazy, crazy goat, <laughs> but I love her. Anyway, so that was the good news that I had was Pearl's pregnant. So I'll be sharing that with you guys. Um, I'll, I'll probably do another contest to uh, f figure out, um, have you guys guess, you know, what the goats are going to have and all of that. The due date, what they're going to have, how many they're going to have. We could try even do color too for, for fun. Um, Oh, and then I want to show you these little, you remember the molds that I showed you that I got from China? I wanted to show you how they came out. These are so cute. If you've been on my um, art fire shop, you will have already seen kind of what they look like. But they're adorable, and they, I just love them. Um, this is the one of the little dinosaurs. So cute. I love these guys. And then there's the little girls that I told you I wasn't sure, like, they kind of remind me of a Harajuku girls because there's several styles of them and they all look a little different. Well, this is the little girl with a sunflower or sunshine with a big smile. Super cute. So, um, I made a bunch of extras of these because I want to do a soap with those. And then one of my favorite set of all the molds I got is this little guy right here. He's so cute. He's little, but just so, I love the detail, like very highly detailed. And this is so dark because it's toasted marshmallow. But I love, I really love those molds. Those molds are awesome. They're worth every penny I paid. $50 shipping I paid <laughs> to get them here. Um, Anyways, I think that's it. I've got a few soaps that I'm working on right now. I've got a lot of orders I'm packing and working on. Um, I got a whole lot of mini loaves to do. But on the mini loaves, I can knock out, uh, I can do a small batch of soap and knock out about three mini loaves at a time. So it go real fast. Um, I can get that done pretty fast. Uh, what else? I think that's it. I've got a scheduled pickup from the post office coming. I've got about five orders going out. I had a bunch go out yesterday. And um, also, too, with the closing of the shop, I mean, that new thing that PayPal has where they um, they have that, if you make over a certain amount, they have a printout that they automatically send to the IRS, and then you get a copy. Well, there's if you're selling on um, online with like let's say Artfire, eBay, all that, get yourself real familiar with how PayPal works because they count the shipping, they count that as part of your income and they uh, charge you like as if it's a 
as if it's in it. You know that 2.9% they charge you on top of your sales, right off the top, they also charge you part of your shipping. They're charging you that 2.9%. Now, we don't make money on shipping. In fact, a lot of times we lose money on shipping. At least I do. Um, well, they PayPal charges 2.9% off the top of shipping. If, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, so, get real familiar with how they work in their charges. They charge also 30 cents per transaction. Um, I, I would say if you just just for your own safety too and just so your own so you know if you're selling online uh, go on there call PayPal they're very friendly very easy to work with at least they're you know they do that for you <laughs> um, get on there and ask them say I want a printout I want to know where I can go on my uh, I think it's on history you go into your history and ask them I want to go on history and find out what my charges are from you guys and they're going to show you how to click into that. Get yourself real familiar with all that whole list of charges and stuff. And they combine that 30 cents per transaction and the 2.9%. They combine that all together in one, in one, uh, on one line, and then you'll see the total amount. That's all the charges that charge you for those two things. There's other charges that they charge to you for um, returns. You have your returns on there. Then you. I think there's a return fee they charge you for if you have returns. Um, it was an eye opener. Um, yeah. So there was that, and there was something else I was gonna say too. I forget. But anyways, I still am gonna offer soaps and goodies and stuff. It just I want to avoid PayPal together, and um, I'm gonna have to go look for a job somewhere. I'm thinking maybe Hobby Lobby, something close to the house. I don't want to go too far away because I've got the animals and everything. And I still want to be able to do soaps and stuff a little bit, you know, kind of on the side because I love it and it's it's fun um, for me. But uh, I definitely do have to get a job to to make it work. To make it any family run now nowadays, you have to have two incomes. So I'm gonna have to get a job somewhere. I haven't really decided yet. I can't go back to grooming because I have a bad back. I can stand and I can stand all day long. In fact, I stand all day long in the kitchen. But when you're grooming dogs, you're kind of bent at an angle all day, kind of, you know, paint, doing your hand scissoring, you're grooming, you're kind of at a slight bend. So at the end of the day, I, I'm, you know, walking like I'm 90 for a couple of hours and my back just can't take it. Just all the years of grooming, um, I just can't. I can groom a little bit here and there, but not as a job at all. There's no way I can't do that. So I don't know. I haven't decided where I'm going to go look for a job. Um, I have a few places in mind, but I don't know. We'll see. You know, time will tell. We'll see what happens with that. Um, I think that's it. I just want to make sure I get everything in on this video because after I do this video, it's not going to let me do a video for probably a couple days. I don't know if anyone else is having trouble with their videos, but I'm having major trouble. I need to email them. To let them know that um, the sound is messed up, and when I go to record it, um, after I make one video, I go to do another one, and then like all the stuff, you know, the buttons you gotta push to start the video and stop the video is shoved up to the left corner, way up to the left corner. So I can start the video, but I can't stop the video. So I don't know what's going on with uh, YouTube, but yeah, it's kind of a mess for me, anyways. Um, I got about another minute. I'll show you these little embeds. These are also my other embeds that I got that I showed you guys. That's the new little ducky. It looks like a little mallard duck. That's what that looks like. And then I have the little bunnies. The little bunnies look like that. I don't know what I'm going to use these bunnies for now that Easter's over, but I need bunnies. I need, I don't know, like four bunnies. Oh, wow. I messed up. And I have some seashells, which I've had this mold. Actually, I think this is a um, one of these, like, let's see. These ones, for instance, are from a candy mold, like a chocolate mold. Video's almost over. This one cracked a little bit. And then this is a, a bigger mold that I have for seashells. I want to do some like uh, little mini loaves and stuff. I have some Lighthouse Point scent that came in. So I want to use the seashells on that. And this video is probably going to cut me off. Or just let me go to 20 minutes. I forget. I don't think I've...
done a video this long, or maybe once. Let's see. It cuts me off. Here's some more little shells. Here's one little shell from the candy molds. They came out really cute. Um, I have some, you know the unicorn shell? I have this one, but it got messed up. It kind of broke. It broke in two, but... And then, of course, I got my heart. I was going to do love, love Spell, but, um... I don't know, I think everyone's over Love Spell now. I got a couple of die hardies on, on the uh, Love Spell, but I don't sell very much of Love Spell, and I have a big bottle of it, too. Um, I might also list a few fragrance oils on um, on my site, because there were some that were closeouts I stocked up on. Now that I'm going to be shutting the shop down, uh, I'm not going to need as many fragrance oils as I have, so... Right off the top of my head, I think I'm going to be listing um, sugar-coated pie crust because I bought about four to five bottles of that when it went on clearance, so I'll probably put some of those up there for sure. Brand new bottles, just got them when they had it up. Um, can't buy that anymore. I love it in soap, but there's no way I'm going to use five bottles um, now that the shop is going to be closed. So I'll probably put those up there along with a few others. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, this video is letting me go for a while. Probably till 20 minutes, I think. So what else can I show you? I don't know if you guys have seen these. The um, soap dishes are almost all sold out. And I won't be able to get any more. That They're going to be uh, gone. They're almost gone now. They probably are gone at my supplier. But um, this is what the pink one looks like. It still has the rubber feet. We have the pink, the purple, and the blue. This is the cameo pink. That's what that looks like. Oh, and I do have um, matching hooks, really nice, big um, cast iron devil hooks that go with these. I need to list them because once these are gone, I don't want to be stuck with the hooks. So I want to make sure I get those up. Also, I did a resin. Oh, you see my little sign I got back there? <laughs> it's uh, Welcome Horse Lovers. Anyways, I did resin um, cupcakes. I have uh, two left. I've got a little bit of resin left to maybe do one more cupcake and one ice cream, and that'll be it, and I won't be doing resin anymore because I don't have anywhere local I can get it, and to buy it online, it's really expensive. Um, yeah, I'm going to go run and grab the resin pieces so that you can see them. And I did Lavender Martini. Um, I haven't done this one in so long. I've had this fragrance oil. There was just a little bit. I didn't think I had enough to make soap. And I was just saving it for lotions and stuff. And I think I didn't have that listed on the site. And I pulled it last night. And I said uh, to myself, well, I poured the uh, fragrance oil, what I had left. Because I was like, you know what? This might be enough for a small batch. So I poured it in my, uh, my fragrance holder, my measure. And it was plenty enough. But now I have no more left. But I did do the one batch, just like I did it last time. And this is gorgeous. Uh, lavender Martini is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Love it, love it. Um, okay, so there's there's that. And I got one more minute. Here's both the uh, resin charms that I have. The back is a, it's a small glitter, so it's not going to be soft or... or you know, um, I mean, it's not going to be soft. It's not going to be scratchy, is what I'm trying to say. I still got to wire these. I still got to coat them. I got the, the turquoise with the little glittery lips inside. And then I've got the raspberry glitter with the little heart. The little heart, it was really pretty before I put it in here. It was um, kind of like real sparkly and like diamond cut. But once I put it in here, now it just looks like a red heart. It's pretty, but it's not as pretty as what it looked like before I put it in the resin. So I, put, I won't do that again, but it's, it's cute. But I'd rather use the hearts than something else where it really shows them off. 
So I will be listing these today. These are the last two that I will have, except I have a teeny bit. I might be able to do a couple more resin pieces, then it's all gone for good. And I'll probably sell my molds. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Bye, guys.